Leaders of Justice and the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Code has won the first round of its poll petition seeking to compel the IEBC and Safaricom to release election data that it requires to challenge Uhuru Kenyatta's election as Kenya's fourth president. While Safaricom made the agreement earlier, it would take the intervention of the High Court. In the case of the IEBC, the electoral body is also required to make available the same documents to the National Alliance United Republican Party as well as the Attorney General with the matter due for review on Friday. Well, Wilkis Sanyabo has the details. Interested parties lined up at High Court Judge Isaac Lenaola's courtroom for the hearing of the application filed by Raila Odinga Secretariat Head Eliud Owalo. The Green Book was an attendance the IEBC was represented, as was Safaricom. These, the two parties from whom Owalo was seeking vital documents intended for use in an election petition challenging the election of Uhuru Kenyatta as a fourth president of Kenya. But on this day, Safaricom would cave in, agreeing to provide all information that it could legally disclose. This would leave only the IEBC, which through its lawyer continued to register its objections to the petition to furnish Owalo with the documents, citing the amount of time and resources it would require to grant the request. In the face of the IEBC argument that some of the documents the petitioner was seeking were already available and in the public domain, Justice Lenaola gave the two sides two hours to sit down and deliberate. And when they returned, they had an agreement at hand. The IEBC agreed to provide CODS legal teams with a raft of documents, which include Forms 34, 35 and 36, comprising results from across the country to be photocopied at CODS on cost, software agreements subject to agreement by the firms contracted to provide the software during the elections, the files for all messages that were received through Safaricom from the tallying centers, the Green Book used to identify voters after the electronic method failed, the final voter register, and a copy of the final presidential results. Who has that register? The Both, there's a copy at the client and at the register of political parties. Now, we are happy to provide that in soft copy, and they can do the printing for themselves. The reason is that the last time we had to print this for the elections, it took seven days. Uh, um, to, to print it. It's, it's a huge, it's a very huge document. The National Alliance, the United Republican Party, and the Attorney General also sought to be furnished with the same documents, a request which was granted by the court. Part of IBC, do your best to give them what they want. On the part of Mr. Arwa, where there are difficulties, let's reach some agreement that would uh, assist the matter move forward. Let's go to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court can deal with it as it should. Well, thank you very much. Let's rise. The party is now leaving the court to return on Friday for a review and further directions. Any person or party challenging the presidential election has seven days after the election to do so. It's a good decision because he has directed the IEBC to furnish us with the information that we need. Everybody who wishes to audit the elections should be at liberty to study, scrutinize the documents, and then determine for himself whether the election was free and fair. It is now a first round victory of sorts for the petitioners. The question begging now is whether they will be able to secure all the information they require for the election petition before the deadline expires. Wilkis Anyabwa, KTN, at the Milimani Law Courts in Nairobi.